Hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I want to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. It does help my channel and I appreciate it. I want to thank everybody for donating, supporting me in any and every way that you do. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Um, as you can tell by the video and maybe the sound quality too, that I have figured out how to record on my phone and then shoot it on over to my laptop for editing without too much trouble. So yay, that makes me very happy. I wanted to come in and make you aware of a day that is coming up that's a really important day. It's a 777 day. This is the luckiest day of the year in my mind and possibly in spirits. It's July 7th, 2023, because the year 2023, when you add the, the numbers together, they add up to seven. So that's three sevens. That is not going to happen again till 2032, July 7th, 2032. It doesn't happen very often. I think it's like every nine years. It's a long time in between. Okay. So it's a really important day with all the energies that are coming through in the readings for the new moon that I did two weeks ago for this most recent full moon in Capricorn. And I know I haven't done the, the recording yet for these moons in August, but I am telling you, August is going to be an explosive month. We've got two super full moons in the month of August. It's going to be crazy. So anyways, I wanted to come back in and find out what we can expect from July 7th, 2023, the luckiest day of possibly the decade. Okay. Almost a decade. It's nine years. So what we're going to do is we're going to use only two decks here. I wanted to use the um, Sacred Destiny deck because I have a feeling that part of what's going to happen for us on July 7th might be to do with our destiny. I'm going to pull three of these cards and oh, you decide which one resonates with you. Okay, so there's two. the third one and my dog is about nope I thought he was about to jump off and I'm kind of in the way of him going so we're good okay this isn't very good for you guys is that better yeah that's much better no one's coming at you bud you're good okay so the first card we've got is flexibility okay And then we have Purity. This card seems to come out a lot, especially in the moon readings. And then we have Embracing. Okay. So take a minute, pause the video if you need to, and let your intuition guide you into whatever card is yours. Okay. I am going to get... Uh, clarifying card for each of these. It's going to give us a little bit more information. My setup still is not permanent, so you're going to see, you know, maybe the camera moves when I move <laughs> because I'm still doing this on the bed. So I'll figure it out when the time is right. It'll happen. Meantime, it's better quality video for sure, at the very least. And that's him panting because he's a little bit hot. Okay, get that one on that. Hopefully you have picked out your cards. Ooh, wow. Okay, so I am going to read the Sacred Destiny from the book for you. This first one here, Flexibility. I will try and hold it. I thought I had something over here that, well, I don't have anything. 
I'm sorry guys, I should have been I gotta here, this might help. I might be able to put it here. Okay, if you're going down, go down. I'm just going to pause this. Okay, we're back. Okay, so flexibility. Okay. That says... The sacred landscape wants you to know this. The meaning of this card is rich and varied. It cautions you to be flexible in your life. Be willing to bend and yield. There are times to stand strong, but there are also times to go around a situation rather than face it head on. This card suggests being amenable to change. It's also a fantastic card for abundance and prosperity. And it suggests that if you are flexible, prosperity can and will come your way in all areas. Additionally, it suggests that a time of rapid growth is ahead. Don't resist it. Oh my goodness, does that ever blend well with the full moon and Capricorn reading? Holy cow. The time is right for this surge of spiritual growth to occur. Now, if you haven't seen the full moon and Capricorn reading, I suggest you watch that because that plays right into this. It was all about a big, big transformative energy coming in, one that's going to feel very uncomfortable. It's going to probably create resistance unless you can get into a state of gratitude, which is going to help you move through it. And it's because the energy that's coming through, the manifestation that's on its way to us all, is coming very quickly and it's that energy that you're going to be sensing and this talks about the same thing it's about growth that happens very quickly and that's what that full moon reading was about so this if you chose this card now keep in mind too that all three cards could have resonated with you okay all three could be meant for you you could be receiving all of these around the 7th of july 2023 okay this could be your truly your luckiest day ever because this talks about prosperity you are going to have to be a little flexible you are going to have to be in gratitude so you don't resist this change and you will have prosperity now the card that goes with that is ooh the hierophant so, so messed up with my camera like this um look at that the hierophant now this is the intuit tarot deck and it says convention conformity values institutions programming marriage and faith you all could be heading for prosperity and marriage Ooh, and look at this one it's actually got a ring on it. Okay, if you chose this one also or this one only, this is your information. Oh, brother. In there. Got it? Purity. Now it says... The sacred landscape wants you to know this. No matter what has happened in the past, everything can be fresh and new again. The purity of your soul is shining through everything that you encounter. You are entering into a period of grace. Simply open your heart and know that the best is yet to be. The past doesn't need to equal the future. Your future can be and will be shimmering, sparkling and bright. Old limiting patterns are dropping away. Recurring challenges are releasing. This is a time of redemption, forgiveness, and holy healing. This plays into the full moon in Capricorn too because it was all about releasing. It's about letting go of anything and everything that's no longer serving us that is creating a toxicity within our systems. So with this full moon, it is the perfect full moon to release those kinds of things so allow the release, allow yourself to let go of those things and heal. And then you can have 
all of your manifestations. This is all about opening your heart and being ready for what's coming. Being ready to receive. Now the card that clarifies that is the Ace of Wands, but it's in the reverse. So in this deck, it's called Creative Spark. It's a motivational force. Okay. And it says spark, creative flow, new passion for love and life, taking inspired action. You have so much coming your way. Oh my goodness. Release. Allow the recurring challenges to come through because they are here to point something out to you so that you know what to release because you need to heal it. You need to get yourself ready for this new creation that's coming in, new passion for love and life. You've got love coming in. You've got an inspired life coming in. Your life is about to change. Basically, that's what this is saying. Your life is about to change. You are growing and and shifting into this new you. You're letting the old go. That's another reason the energy that's coming in is going to feel so uncomfortable because you're growing into someone that you've never been. You've never known. Okay. Now the third position. Okay. There we go. Embracing. The sacred landscape wants you to know this. Sometimes life overflows with emotions, which can feel uncomfortable. However, the ensuing result of this discomfort can be of great value, perhaps arising from an unseen or unknown source. You get this card when emotions are seemingly overflowing or not flowing at all. Cherish the overflow of emotions and embrace the times that seem murky, for your inner floodplains are being replenished. And as a result, there will be great spiritual and physical expansion. Embrace all of your emotions because when you do so, greater prosperity and fertility will flow into your life. Alternatively, if your emotions have been blocked, this is the time to explore and experience them. Figure out why they're blocked and what can you do to unblock them so that you can move forward into this prosperous time because 777 is going to be one of the luckiest days for all of us. Now, the confirmation card or clarifying card on that is the Seven of Cups, but it's in reverse. And in this deck, it's called Focus. And it says, Clarity of Inner Knowing, Decisive, Seeing a Clear Choice, Concrete Action, and Clear Cognizant. You are going to know exactly what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and why to do it. You're going to have the clarity necessary to move forward. Embrace whatever it is that's taking place. Embrace it because it's bringing clarity. It's bringing a feeling of knowing what to do and when to do it. It's going to help you decide which is the right way and which isn't the right way. And then you're going to be able to take concrete action. And that is going to bring prosperity because the embracing card talks about prosperity. You really need to watch the full moon and Capricorn video because I can't believe how all three of these play into that reading or how that reading plays into these messages. So, I have a feeling that this full moon in the beginning of July is going to be a catalyst of some kind. It's going to start the, the forward motion energetically toward all of these huge, huge manifestations that are coming in August. This is amazing. I am so glad that I decided to do a 777 reading because... It doesn't matter which one you picked. They all are bringing something amazing. Love. An, an incredible new passion for life. Love. taking in, Knowing when to take inspired action and taking it. Same here. Knowing when to move forward and taking concrete action. Here we're talking about marriage. And flexibility talks about prosperity. There's prosperity here. Love and a passionate life. This is talking about prosperity and seeing your way clear. It's all about, you know, 
here's another one. If you haven't watched the new moon reading that I did two weeks before the July 3rd full moon reading, you should watch that too because that is is hooking up with this as well. We were making our way toward sovereignty, which is our highest self. And these all kind of are going down that road too. So is the full moon reading in Capricorn. All of these are linked because this is a major shift that we're making in our world, a major shift that we're making in our lives, our person. You're not going to recognize yourself by the time you get to the beginning of September. You're just not. Once we go through those two super full moons in August, oof, things are going to be so different in our world, literally in the world and in our personal bubble worlds. So if you have time, please take a look at those. It's going to help you so much. I feel they're going to resonate with you and help you move forward through this energy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some information that is positive and helpful. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.